Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add profile pictures to your Devise account system. So as you can see, I have a drop down here and I can just upload an image, let's say CSS, and I can press update. And this is gonna update as my profile picture up in the top here. So we're using profile pictures in Devise Ruby on Rails 7. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is stop the server and we need to run a command called rails active underscore storage colon install. This command is going to install active storage, a gem that helps us use images and videos in Ruby on Rails. So hit enter and this is going to run the command. Because I already have it installed, it didn't display any message, but it should say created some files for you. Nevertheless, we have to run another command now and it's called rails db migrate. And this command is going to migrate the files to the database, which means it will actually change the schema.rb. I have a video explaining what the schema.rb is, so watch that if you don't know what it is, but hit the enter key for now. So we're just gonna db migrate. Okay, so now that we have installed active storage, we can start the Rails server and we can just see where we are. Okay, so I'm on the home page of my app and I'm signed in and I can edit the account and I can edit the email, but I want to be able to upload an image. So I'm gonna come to my app, models, user.rb, and we need to say has underscore one underscore attached image. And this will tell Ruby on Rails that this model has an image attached to it. And so from there, we can actually permit an image and then upload the image and then show the image. So to, so to permit the image, we have to go to controllers, users, registrations controller. And if you don't have this folder, you shouldn't have this folder unless you've configured it to have that. You need to run a command called rails g device colon controllers and then users. And this is going to create that controller. So I'm just gonna hit enter. And this is gonna create the folder and all of the controllers in the folder. And from there, what we need to do is go to config roots.rb. So go to config roots.rb and we need to specify to actually use the controller. So just copy this root into your roots.rb file. <clears throat> Devise for users, controllers, registrations, user slash registrations. And this makes it so that Devise knows to use the registrations controller. Once we've done that, we can start the server and we can just come to that controller. So go to app controllers, users, registrations controller. And what we can do is before action, configure account update params. And we're just gonna uncomment this uh, action. So it says configure update account params, account update params. And we need to let in an image attribute, which is going to make it so that we can actually permit an image. Make sure that this one is ticked. And if you want to make it so that you could actually upload the image when you are creating the account, you could uncomment this line and then you can un uncomment this action and then you have to add it in the new registration form in device. But for now, that's good so far. So to recap on what's happened so far, we have said has one attached in the model. We've said that the user model has an image attached to it and now we're making it so that it can actually be updated when you want to update the account and you can add an image when you're updating the account. So save that file and then all we need to do is go to views, device, registrations, new, and we need to make an image field so that we can actually upload the image. So make a label and then make a file field, f.file field, and then get rid of everything else, save, refresh. And we won't see anything happening. That's because I actually put it in the wrong file. So just control X it, and then add it in the edit registrations field. And then it will show up. And as you can see, it says choose file. I'm just going to get rid of the label because I don't want it. And so if I choose a file and then I upload it, update, it does actually update, but if I, but it doesn't show it anywhere. So it is actually attached to the user now, but, it's, but it does not show it anywhere. And so what we need to do to show it somewhere is I'm gonna to come to layouts, navbar.html.erb, and this will work on any page, but I'm just gonna say, if user dot image dot attached and then I'm gonna say else 
display this. If they do have an image, we can just display the image. So say image underscore tag parentheses user or current underscore user dot image. And then we have to specify the width of the height of the image. And after we do that, it should work. So height 200 pixels, or we'll say actually height 50 pixels. And we can just have that. But we need to add current user to this. And then if we refresh, I should see my image, but actually I'm not seeing it. We forgot to add another end. You might not get this error. This is just because I have this. Okay. And so now it actually does show the image or my profile picture in the nav bar. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to change it just to make sure that it works. And I'll add an actual profile picture of mine. I'll add this as my profile picture update. And as you can see, it does display in the nav bar. And if you want the image to be round, all you have to do is add display inline block with 50 pixels, height 50 pixels. Just make sure that these two values are the same and add the border radius, border radius 50%. And so now it does show my image as my profile picture and it is round, but it doesn't look very good. So I'm just going to say object fit contain. Actually, it's for this. I noticed that it's actually better to use object fit cover as it looks more like a profile picture. Now, when I click on it, I want to take us to the edit account details. So I'm just going to make that happen. And all we need to do is go in here and add this line and add this inside of here, save refresh. And it does actually work, but there is a problem. And so now it is working and it does show us our profile picture. To be honest, what I'm going to do is add a, an upload field just to make it look, look a little bit nicer. I've already made it and I already have a video showing how to make the upload field, but it's just going to be a drag and drop field and that is going to look a lot nicer. So thank you for watching. Check out my other Rails tutorials and I'll see you in the next one.